the rare and the wild. I'm about ready to practice my yoga for today. We just got back from a trek to the springs and I wanted to write this down while it is still fresh. To see an eland is rare. They are very shy. They are the largest of the antelope and also the fastest. I was mulling over mom's seeming absence and asking why she should be so subtle and demure in this wilderness. There has been no subtlety in the past, and only since the sickness and fear of sickness were overcome did she show herself with the leopard. I realized I had been facing her fears as much or even more than my own. She bolted just before the altercation between Jack and Buana occurred as we ready to venture into Ngorongoro Crater. But she was back to tantalize me with the cheetah far in the distance. So today I was wondering where she had been since the cheetah in the crater. Each game drive we have experienced something magic, yet today we had driven around for hours without anything staggering. Perhaps I'm getting jaded to the abundance of exotic animals here. On that first day in Arusha Park, when we witnessed the giraffe and zebra hundreds of yards away, we were elated. We felt as if we had just stumbled onto Jurassic Park and a prehistoric haze wrapped us all up in a common bond. We tried to capture this first sighting and days later, when reviewing our photos, ended up deleting most of them, for we had seen the same species again and again, but much closer. From there, I became much more selective with my photos, pulling the camera out only when I knew the sight would be rare. I had the vague feeling that Mom was seeing through my eyes. One of the hardest tests, not drinking that glass of wine, had gone without reward. I began to concern myself with that one sip I'd taken at the Sopa Lodge and whether I was being punished in a way for that one tiny indiscretion. Jostled about in the minivan, I touched my fingers to her diamond stud earrings and wondered to myself where she had gone. The next instant, an eland bolted from the left directly across the road. I readied the camera, and three or four more followed the magnificent huge creature running full out. I pressed the shutter again and again and hoped the autofocus would capture one of the incredible beasts. After they passed and I checked the shots, I heard cries of dismay all around me. Buana's camera got stuck with the timer on and he got nothing. They had been too fast for the speed on Paul's camera, Dee didn't get her movie camera ready in time, but Mom made sure that I got the shot. At a dead run, with all four legs in the air, Mom had shown herself. And now we are going to practice yoga together on the woven rug on the wooden deck overlooking the river.